country, both geographically, historically, culturally. And uh, I really encourage all of my friends um, who haven't already been on my advice to uh, to go and uh, and visit the and explore the amazing country that is Ethiopia. So of course Ethiopia was very important because, um, you know, the origins of humankind, it fills in some of the missing pieces for us, and then of course the great kingdom of Aksum and Lalibela. So um, yes, I was travelling around Ethiopia. Uh, there was a government which was really determined, I think, to reduce poverty in the country, and I think they've made extraordinary progress over the last 15 years. You know, I have a lot of friends who go to Ethiopia I sort of say go to Ethiopia, see what a, a real developing country is doing and the progress it's making and they all kind of, I'm not sure about that, but every single one of them, when they come back, say, wow, that was a fantastic experience and uh, what a great country and we want to go back and take more friends with us. So that's absolutely fantastic. The current state of the relations between the two countries is both cordial and excellent. Our development partnership proves to be a fine example of working together for mutual benefit in many areas, including promoting trade and investment, strengthening regional peace and security, combating terrorism, and building capacities in the public service as well as in the private sector. በኢትዮጵያ እና በብሪታንያም ህዝቦችና መንግስታት መካከል የተጀመረው ግንኙነት ከአንድ መቶ አመታት በላይ አስቆጥሯል። ባሁን ወቅት የሁለቱም ሀገራት ዲፕሎማሲያዊ ግንኙነት ላቀወዳልና የጋራም ተጠቃሚነትን ወደ ማረጋገጥ ደረጃም እየደረሰ ነው። የብሪታንያም የሁሉም አቀፍ ፓርቲዎች ቡድን በእያመቱ የኢትዮጵያ ቀንን ለንደን ከመገኘው የኢትዮጵያ ኤምባሲና በብቻኛ ነዋሪ ኮኒ ኢትዮጵያ ነጥሮ ዲቲዮጵያን ጋር በጋራ መለቱን ለንደን በሚገኘው የኢትዮጵያ ኤምባሲ በመገኘት በጋራ አክብረዋል በዚህ ኢትዮጵያ ምሽት ላይ ከብሪታንያ የሁሉም አቀፍ ፓርቲዎች ሊቀ መንበር ሎረንስ ሮበርትሰን እና ሌሎች የብሪታንያ የፓርላማ አባላት በኢትዮጵያ ከፍተኛ መዋለ ነው ያፈሰሱ የብሪታንያ ባለሀብቶች ጋዜጠኞች ጻሃፊዎች ኢትዮጵያንና ትርዲ ኢትዮጵያን እንዲሁም ኢትዮጵያ ወዳጅ የሆኑ የብሪታንያ ዜጎች ተገኝተዋል በብሪታንያ የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት ባለ መስልጣን አምባሳደር ዶክተር ሃይለ ሚካኤል አበራ በለቱ እንደተናገሩት የኢትዮጵያና የብሪታንያ ግንኙነት ከአንድ ክፍለ ዘመን በላይ ያስቆጠረ ሲሆን ባሁን ወቅት እጅግ በጣም አብረታሽ በሚባል ደረጃ ላይ እንደሚገኘም ገልጸዋል አክለም እንደተናገሩት in the last 20 years Ethiopia has embarked on a massive rural and agricultural transformation scheme urban and industrial development programs and huge infrastructure projects including roads, airports, railways, telecommunications, renewable energy and industrial parks. It is also building its human resource base through the implementation of a comprehensive education sector program, public service reform, while efforts to put in place and strengthen democracy institutions have been receiving great attention in the country's bid to emerge from its age-old repressive feudal system to a modern federal country. የብሪታንያ መንግስት በለማትብብር መስሪያ ቤቱ በኩል ለኢትዮጵያ መስራት ያገለግሉት ማስፋፊያና ማስጠበቂያ የሚሰጠው ድጋፍም ኢትዮጵያ ላቀደችው የለማትልሞች ስኬታማነት የበኩል ሚና መጫወቱን አምባሳደር ዶክተር ሃይለ ሚካኤል አበራም ገልጸዋል። ለማትብብሩም በዋናነት የመጀመሪያ ደረጃ ትምርትና ጤና ለማስፋፋት ተላላፊ በሽታዎችን ለመቋቋም እንዲሁም ማስከፍ የደህንነት ለመቀነስና ያካባቢ ጥበቃ ለማት ለማጠናከር የተደረገም ድጋፍ ነው የተገኙት ውጤቶችን በራሳቸው ምስክር መሆናቸው ነው አምባሳደሩ በለቱም የተናገሩት የብሪታንያ መንግስት የውጭ ጉዳይ ሚኒስትር ቦሪስ ጆንሰን በቅርቡ በርሚንግሃም ከተማ ላይ በተጋይደው የፓርቲ አጫመታይ ጉባኤ ላይ በሽዎች ለሚቆጠሩ አባላቶችና ደጋፊዎቻቸው ፍት ኢትዮጵያ ከልማት ተብብሮች ውጤት ካስመዘገቡ ሀገሮች ዋና መሆኑን ገልጸዋል In 2000 the average Ethiopian lived to 16 years ago 
The average Ethiopian lived to only 47. It's now 64 and climbing. 300 million pounds a year to Ethiopia alone. I believe it is worth it. I believe that it is our duty to do it. Nazi Hulun, Ethiopia, the mass of Ketosh Kalen, Kanitakana, Wundal, and Burutana, Gurt Ambassador, Doctor Halemikan Abram, Berkatan, Fatan, Naschagari, Huneta, Hulum, Hidet Yagat, and Monachonam, Girls Alm. One Nanet, Bodut Shasram, Mr. Daropana Chakota, Erbe, and Lino Mekinet, the Castato Dirk Adagam, and Dusihon, Yetopian, Mengistan has Boch, Kalamak, of whom Havas of Gar, the Garabad River Rebbe Natret, Chugrum of Tata Jonas Red Zone, by Yernabat Lot, Mekiniat, Yemikas of Yedirk Adagan Takatu, Betopian, Yemitafahiot, and Dinorgan, Medderagun, Arbagat Oarn. We managed to control the effects of the natural disaster. The Honorable Mr. Lawrence Robertson and Anne Robertson have seen for themselves the efforts underway during their visit a couple of months back. Drought did not lead to famine and mass death as it used to do in the 1980s in 1990s, prompting Bob Geldof and other celebrities to organize Band Aid. Today, Bob Geldof is investing in the wine industry in the country. Yoktun, Yetopen, Ye Plotica, Hunitamba Mas Mel Ketum, and Bas Hadron Betanagro, Ye Chigrochun, a bait Makiniatoch, Mengis, Kaminakatacho, a Kalatgar, Badder, the way Yitzi, a Tele Yumonachon Chamber, no Yegal Sot. With a series of consultations with communities and especially with young people throughout the country, the government is assessing gaps and shortcomings with the view to filling the gaps and correcting mistakes. So, my government, cognizant of the reasons why unemployed youth took to the streets recently, is revising its plans and has ushered in a raft of packages for young people, including a 10 billion bur revolving fund to support the effort to support the effort, genuine demands for effective public services and employment are welcome trends within a demanding society that the transformation drive has created. However, it has now become abundantly clear with, with concrete evidence that some countries who do not want to see Ethiopia developing and transforming are interfering in its internal affairs. Internal anti-peace elements and groups from the extremist and toxic sections of the diaspora, with logistics and financial support from these countries, have hijacked the agenda of the youth and organized marauding gangs of arsonists and murderers bent on causing havoc and destroying infrastructure, businesses, and public institutions. In order to deal with these criminals and bring back to normalcy the situation in certain parts of our country, in the shortest time possible, which otherwise would not be achieved through the normal legal procedure, my government has declared a state of emergency for about six months. As of last Sunday, the 9th of October. Within this period, we assure you human rights will, be, will continue to be respected and diplomatic missions and international organizations will be protected. Ye Britannia, who lack of party or Chubudilica member, Lawrence Robertus and Babokulachum, Ye Britannia, Ethiopia, or Tia Shiginet, Kamingazium Belay, and Jigbet Amtru, and Mi Baldrejal and Medrasunam and Katon, Yedrk Adagam, Berkerbu, Ethiopia, the Cassat, Gizim, with the Ethiopia Mambrata Chon, Astao Sawal. What prompted that visit, as you quite rightly say, was the problems with the drought, and we did indeed see uh, the enormous efforts which were being made by the government of Ethiopia and indeed the resilience which you had built into the system. And we also saw uh, the work being carried out by 
the many aid agencies, some of which, of course, will be funded uh, from this country, and it made me very proud uh, that that is the case. And we are very pleased that you appear to be coming through that problem now, and we wish you well uh, in your efforts. Uh, you have indeed come uh, an awful long way. Uh, and we've, of course, read just this week about the opening of the railway uh, from Djibouti into Addis, uh, which will, of course, improve the uh, contacts uh, and will enable you to access the port of Djibouti somewhat more easily. I've travelled myself from Addis to Djibouti. Uh, I think it's uh, only fair and only right to recognise the, uh, the other issues which you mentioned. Um, you are not necessarily blessed with uh, the most peaceful of neighbours, and we do recognise that. And uh, it really will get nobody uh, anywhere. It will not make any progress for anyone. Uh, if they try and cause problems for Ethiopia or if they cannot come to peace with themselves within their own countries. So we do recognise that you have uh, something of a problem there. Uh, and you were quite um, open about the fact that you've faced a number of challenges within your own country from people who perhaps uh, are not res respecting the, the democratic process or the legal process. I did have the opportunity to discuss this issue just last night with the Foreign Secretary uh, and to ask him to really put his arm around your shoulder and to say, come on, you know, we can get through this together, offer any help that you may need and any advice uh, which you may need. Obviously, uh, what the world is looking for is a proportionate response and I'm sure that will be the case in Ethiopia. And we do remain your friends. And we're all here because we are friends of Ethiopia. We're friends of yours. You are relatively uh, new to London uh, with Madame and uh, we wish you well uh, in your tenure in this country. Uh, we want to see uh, visits coming uh, from Ethiopia to this country. I know we are trying to set up a parliamentary visit. Uh, we've um, had to delay slightly, but I do encourage you to do all you can to send a number of members of parliament from Ethiopia to London and to the rest of the United Kingdom. And I hope that we, through the uh, all-party Ethiopia group and indeed through the Interparliamentary Union uh, which promotes democracy throughout the world. I hope that we will be able to visit your great country again in the near future. So there's a lot to celebrate. Um, there are problems to discuss, there are problems to address and to overcome. We've not been without problems in our own country and so uh, th there's, no, um, there's no singling anybody out in that respect. So we stand with those countries who are law-abiding, that want to promote democracy, a free press, and want to live in peace. And indeed, want to trade with the United Kingdom. And those opportunities, in spite of what some people might say, are opening up.